Just how cute is this little cockapoo drawing that we're going to be doing today? All that you need is some paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. So let's get started. We're going to start off our cockapoo with an oval shape, a slightly tilted oval shape. So, oh, look, something like this. Don't press too hard. I'm just pressing hard so that you can see it on camera. We're going to be erasing these lines soon anyway. Okay, an oval shape like that. Now we're going to be drawing part of a circle shape. This is going to be the top part of the head. See what I mean? Something a bit like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. These are just preparatory lines. Now we're going to add in the nose, which is a circle or an oval, more or less, just here. Add in the smiley face and then two circles for the eyes. One here and one here. Now for the ears. So one coming out like this. Then if we start here and we do the other one coming down like that. And then the other one starting just about here, coming all the way down. Remember if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind or watch the whole thing through once so that you know what you're doing and then come back and then pause it in between sections. That's the best way to learn. Okay, now for the chest. So just starting here, we're going to be doing a big circle. Like that. I'm then going to measure the circle and do the bottom of the leg just there. So we're going to be drawing this leg coming down. Like this. And then coming up again. And then the other leg, just a little bit further. And then coming up and then round like this. And then the back leg here. Or maybe a little bit longer. <laughs> there we go. And then the little foot coming out in line with this one. Just peeping out behind. Now I'm going to be switching to pen, but please carry on in pencil. It's just so you can see it better on camera. We're going to be starting off with the nose. So, do the little nostrils. Like that. Something a bit like that. Colour it in a little bit darker. Just like so. We're then going to be doing the furry moustache. So the cockapoo was the first designer dog breed and it's it was bred in the 1950s. And as you can imagine, it was bred from a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle. They're meant to be very clever and friendly dogs. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've got a Cockapoo at home and what's its name. So just carry on with these lovely big moustache. Coming down like this. And we're going upwards towards the mouth area. And then we'll do the mouth. And some lines coming down from the mouth. They're ever so furry. And then a little curly beard. So I'm using some wiggly lines here. Can you see that? Kind of wiggling them at the end in different directions gives the impression that there's curls. Now we're going to do the eyes, but before we do the eyes, we've got to show the fur around the eyes because they're deep set in amongst all this amazing fur. So the eye is kind of hidden amongst there. We draw two little reflections here. 
leaving them white. There we go. Now for the other one, doing the fur around the eye first. There we go. Then in the center, I'm just going to color it in black. Don't forget to leave a little area white for the light. There we go. Brilliant. Add a few more curls around here. Go at the top. Again, adding lots more curls. I'm going to go to the centre now. Add the impression of more curls. More curls coming down here. There we go. Now for this ear. Excellent. Now for the other ear. This particular cockapoo has more spaniel-like ears. There we go. Going to colour in this area because it's in darkness. Just adding a few more bits of fur around here. Just like that. Now we're going to be doing the body. So using those wiggly lines that I showed you before, going all the way down. And we're going to carry it all the way down to the bottom of the paw. Just with these kind of curved lines just going in many, many different directions. It gives the impression of curly fur. Here, we're just going to be doing a line coming upwards. And then now again with these curved lines going all the way down to the other paw. Coming up. And then doing the Hind leg here. Going round. Just to show where the paw starts. And then this other one round here. Now, if you haven't gone over it in pen, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. Okay, so I've erased all the pencil lines. I'm now just going to add the finishing touches, which is a little bit of shadow in the areas that needs it. So I'm just making this a little bit darker here, a little bit darker underneath the moustache as well. Just going to make it a little bit darker, just underneath the ears. It's just to give it a sense of depth, make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm not going to add too much shadow. Okay, and then underneath the chin. A 
add a few more lines just to give the impression that all this area is covered in curls. A little bit darker here. Just at the top of the legs as well. And just at the base here at the paws. Here as well. Just using C shapes, if you see what I mean, just half circles. And now for a bit of shading, just to show the shadows. So I'm just using horizontal lines to show this. Doesn't look as if this dog's floating in the air. here just a tiny bit more here and there's our finished cockapoo drawing i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have then check out a whole playlist of other docs i'm sure you're gonna love it